In today's problem, we're going to talk about um, power. Um, we're just going to do a quick little problem uh, looking at how power works uh, and uh, look at a cute little problem looking at um, how much power um, Usain Bolt uh, generates while he's uh, running. Um, so uh, let's think about Usain Bolt for a second. Um, what he can do that and, and only a few people can actually do is do uh, run 100 meters in 10 seconds. Uh, that's actually a little slow for him, but let's call it that. Um, so we can do 100 meters in 10 seconds. That means that um, his average velocity, of course, is, um, is, is 10 meters per second, right? Because 100 meters in 10 seconds or 10 meters in one second. Um, so his average velocity is 10 meters per second. If you guys remember your equation for average velocity, uh, that means that his, um, his final velocity is probably something around um, 20 meters per second. If you don't know how I got that, go ahead and, uh, and look at your, um, uh, your equations for, um, for average velocity. Um, okay, so his final velocity is around 20 meters per second. Uh, so what's that mean as far as energy goes? Well, he starts with zero energy, right? And he starts at a, at a dead stop. His kinetic energy is zero meters per second. His final kinetic energy is equal to one half mv squared. I looked up online. Uh, Usain Bolt is around 100 kilograms, 94 kilograms. They, they state is his mass at. So we'll just put in 100, one half times 100 kilograms times um, velocity squared, uh, which is um, in this case 20 meters per second squared. If you work that out, his final kinetic energy is um, one half of 100 times 400, um, and that gives you uh, something like. Uh, 2,000 joules, which is a kilogram meter squared per second squared. That's a unit of joules, a unit of energy. Um, so it generates about 2,000 joules in uh, the 10 seconds that he's running. Nice thing is power is pretty straightforward. It's just a change in energy, in this case, kinetic energy, over time. Um, in this case, that means the change in energy is 2,000 minus zero. So 2,000 joules minus zero joules over 10 seconds gives us an average power of 200 joules per second. And joules per second is a watt, um, which you probably heard about because that's our unit of power. 200 watts. Um, that means that, uh, so if our, in our old style light bulbs, there are 100 watt light bulbs, it's a very light, uh, very bright light bulb. Uh, he could power that, um, that 100 watt light bulb for 10 seconds. Uh, um, no, because he's running for 10 seconds. So he could power that two of those 100 watt light bulbs. Uh, the other way to think about this, this is a, a approximately a fifth of the total power that the uh, that an average house uses um, on average. Um, so if you got five Usain Bolts, uh, he could, uh, they, they, could, they could power a house uh, uh, during this time uh, while they're running. So quite a bit of um, power coming out of those legs. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about that uh, tomorrow, but this is just a brief introduction to how power works. All right, hope that helped, and uh, see you in class uh, tomorrow.